Hello my friends, today Yes, we are going to create this free-floating ambient drone with the free modular synth Cardinal because It's a cool thing to do, so So thanks for joining me and Cardinal today on our trial and error trip through the ambient world. But okay, it's not a real tutorial, you know, it's more like following a rough plan and see what's happening. But I won't make many cuts so you can follow easily. So let's do that. Follow me. Okay, let's do it. Let's start to create our ongoing everlasting ambient drone. And that's the nice thing about modular systems. By default, they make constant noise. Okay, when I connect a VCO with an output, there's noise already and uh, we need to stop that noise and, and modulate it and so on. But to create a sound that's going on forever is like pretty normal thing in for modulus, modular systems. So I start with a noise generator. It's the same thing. It constantly creates noise. I go for the gray noise because it has, it has a rich texture. It's just not very pleasant. So let's go through a filter. Low pass filter. Okay. And I think I want to randomly modulate this cut off here. Let's go with a random generator here and the smooth output. I put it into the frequency input of my filter. Ah, I can go. It's a bit wild, I think, for an ambient um, track. And yes, just listen to it and for a while and then make decisions. Now I have this random trigger generator here. It's uh, in, in the real world, it's marbles, I think. Um, and it gives out random signals. Don't ask me how it works. <laughs> I still need to read the manual and <laughs> I just, um, you know, push some sliders here and uh, now it looks pretty nice. And I go into the trigger of the randomizer here. Maybe something like this. For the beginning it's okay, you know. Uh, let's go on with... Um, yeah, with the drone, with a deep ongoing tone that's norm normally referred to as drone. And I will create it with a delay, not with an oscillator. So I send my noise here, my filtered noise into this, this delay and I crank up the feedback to 100% and connect it, of course, uh, yes, with the mixing, the mix output. And now I change the time of the delay. Now at point one, uh, point zero one four, and I disconnected the randomizer from the uh, from the other randomizer <laughs> um, and lowered the frequency a little bit. It's just going with the flow, you know, trial and error. 
Now I want to add a deep tone, like a real deep tone. I think I go with this VCO into a filter and we modulate the filter cut off, maybe with this LFO here. And I think that's a good idea, so let's connect it here with the next channel, like this. You don't need to go through the VCA. It's just, I'm, I'm testing things, you know. I'm just testing what works for me. And um, now let's go with the sine wave. There it is. the LFO into the frequency input. And here's the slow mode. to the right side because this is set to unipolar now it's bipolar yeah it's very nice I just listened to it for a couple of minutes <laughs> um, and you know this is what I mean when I say stay away from the effects okay this sound has no effects it's dry no reverb nothing but it's already modulating and moving around Sometimes weird frequencies come up. But it still needs more movement, that's for sure. The deep tone that's going on and on is not super exciting, you know? So what can we do? I will use this switch here, this 4 into 1 switch, to add a, something like a pulse to it. Um, so let's connect the out. Let's go here. Let's connect the out. Mm -hmm. And now we need to, nothing happens <laughs> because um, the switch still needs a trigger and maybe this is the time where we can use the the marbles I say marbles <laughs> uh, this random generator here maybe this pulse here every time this sends a trigger the switch switch into the next slot these are the four in slots We need another sound and for another sound we can use the same VCO and send the same sine wave into the wave folder 
module here. It's a very nice wave folder module and the out goes into the fourth slot, I think. Okay. But it doesn't sound... Aha! Okay. Okay, so we need to modulate this fold amount here, folding amount. And I think we just go with our normal LFO that's already in use. So I can connect another cable, I can hold my uh, control key and go into fold and crank it up a little. And it sounds a little bit like a telephone, nobody's home, okay. So it's a bit too loud I think. Let's make it a little bit quieter with a VCA. Just let's connect a VCA between the thing. Uh, it's the out signal here that's going to this part. And I go into the VCA and the out of the VCA into our switch. Slot 4 in the switch. And now I can bring the VCA down. Ah, very nice, much better. Let's add some effects. And I also connected the randomizer with the pulse with the clock. And I don't know if it's uh, if it's necessary. It's just trial and error, you know. And uh, I always use a mixer for the main output here. You can see it's, it's so we have panning um, modulation only for the noises and not for our basic drone here. Stop! We are not done yet, okay? I still want to add something like a random melody, like plum bomb somewhere in space okay we will do that right now before i start please don't forget to do all the things here okay thank you so what do i need for our random melody let's find out maybe an adsr envelope uh, let's go here in the cv uh, the control voltage input and our main signal comes from now we need another um, oscillator maybe this one but I also want to go through a filter I think so let's add a filter here so it's like this into the filter and the low pass filter goes out here let's crank it up a little bit hey, oh, oh. And the output of the VCA in the next channel, like this. And I need another randomizer, I think. So let's duplicate this one. I go with the smooth output into the FM, turn it up a little bit. And now we need to trigger. We need to trigger, and I think maybe the first one here. Of course, we, we use a different tr uh, trigger, not always the same like this and the same trigger has to open the gate of the envelope and there it is our lovely signal okay now we can play with the randomizer settings and uh, the envelope maybe When 
I bring down the shape of the randomizer, I think the tones are more direct. Not so whoop. And also the... And I have a free LFO here. I connect it again with the panorama of the... Okay, very nice. Bipolar. A little bit of fine tuning later and um, I disconnected the randomizer from the clock. We don't need the clock, but I turned down the rate here to 0.5. Let's bring back the other stuff, our drone. And the noise pulse. <laughs> and of course, the stereo delay. And the reverb. I also mix it a little bit, so the melody is very silently loud now in the background. So we created some noise, gray noise, sent it through a filter and added a delay. The delay creates with feedback 100, like an ongoing tone, a deep tone. And um, for the next sound we used um, the switch, the 4 into 1 switch. It gets triggered by the randomizer and then plays two sounds, like one simple sound, a sine wave that goes through a filter, that's everything, that's, yeah, that's all. And um, the other sound is a wave folder sound. We turned that down a little bit with the VCA because it was uh, much too loud. Like it and the melody is a random melody that gets a different trigger um, it's just a square wave this time with another oscillator that goes through a filter and an envelope and we also added some panning, automatic panning with two different LFOs so I just wanted to create an ambient drone today with a modular system uh, please let me know if you need a more in-depth tutorial if you're interested in this uh, modular space okay let me know uh, because I can create tutorials for beginners or something I'm a beginner myself believe it or not I'm just fooling around with Cardinal for like two weeks <laughs> and uh, I think it's pretty nice so far so let me know what you think and also please check out the videos in the outro my name is Marcus and I hope to see you soon in the next one <laughs>